Hi, Glenn Kang is the cold-hearted appraiser here with another vlog to, to help realtors especially. Today we're going to talk about four professionals every realtor needs to have in their network. So times have changed in real estate uh, in the industry and in particular for agents. Listings are down, there's now an NAR settlement uh, with buyer and broker agreements, commission confusion, and a slow market with high interest rates. It's tougher to get listings and find clients and according to NAR surveys, 75% of sellers do not use the same agent for their next sale. So how do you set yourself apart as a real estate agent from all the other agents out there? How do you become one of the 20% that does 80% of all the sales? And how do you maintain your clients over the years? One of the things that you can do is build a great referral network of professionals that help your clients. So in addition to your standard home inspector, title, escrow, termite, lender, the people you use on your daily basis in your business, you need to have four crucial other professionals in your network. A real estate appraiser, that'd be me, an estate planning attorney, a CPA, and a wealth manager or, or financial planner. And why do you need these professionals? Well, when you start as an agent, you typically represent buyers at first, so you help a young couple buy their first house. And they don't know much about finding uh, financing, qualifying, credit, how much a home is worth, things like that. They are new to the home buying process. And as you help them through the process, they might have questions like, is the home really worth what they're offering? Having an appraiser in your network can help answer that question and give them additional confidence in their purchase. So now you've closed escrow on their first home. Congratulations. How do you retain them as a client in the future? So I have a saying, and I'm not sure if I heard it somewhere uh, or if it just popped into my head uh, out of nowhere, but it goes like this. If you have a house and a spouse, you need an estate plan. Yeah, yeah, it's cute, I know, but it's true. A home is often the largest investment and the most important purchase, uh, an item of value a couple can have. So at this point, you should tell them the importance of having an estate plan to protect this asset if something happens to one of them, as well as to help avoid taxes later. So they're going to need a great estate planning attorney. And now that they have a house, they're probably in need of a good CPA because their tax situation is more complex and they have other issues to deal with so they definitely need a good CPA. And you know what else they need now? They need a financial planner or wealth advisor to help them plan for their future. How are they going to save for retirement? Do they want to invest in real estate as part of that? For you, they hope you hope they do because that they'll need you. And the earlier in life your clients have these advisors in their corner, the more successful they will be. And you know what successful people need? A good real estate agent. An agent who not only helps them with their real estate needs, but that connects them to the professionals that will help them make smart financial decisions. So now as they progress through life, have children, move up to a larger home, maybe invest in real estate, they are much more likely to return to the agent who helped them get started and surrounded them with excellent professionals. In addition, as they move up to a larger home or invest in real estate, you are going to run into unusual situa situations. ADUs, large lots, views, helicopter landing pads, you never know. And it's great to have an appraiser who can answer tough questions about these properties and how appraisers determine value and how it might affect their loans. So if you don't have these four professionals in your network, you need to go out there and connect with them. And it's okay to have more than one of each. Where do you find these professionals? Well, in addition to prospecting for your clients, you're gonna have to network. What is networking, you say? Well, you have to stay tuned to another vlog for networking tips. Thank you.